Welcome to the world of Decimase Membrane Endothelial Keratoplasty, a surgery that is beautiful because it is simple and affordable, so it can be done anywhere and it gets great results. Let's explore. We'll start with a fresh membrane harvested with a scuba technique and stained with tripan. The tripan is stain is temporary in the anterior chamber, so if it stains at first too darkly to tell which side is which, it will get better. If it stains too lightly to see, it will get worse. We'll put together a simple injection system of readily available materials as shown here. Part of the wings of each side of the cartridge we'll cut off, so it'll fit in our tubing. Next we'll make our wounds with one clear cornea incision and three side port incisions for easy access everywhere. We'll strip Decimase membrane if needed from the patient, and then we'll constrict the pupil if it was dilated. The surgical steps of the Dead Sea Scrolls method are inserting the membrane, getting oriented, unwrapping the membrane, and lastly positioning with air. Other techniques might combine some steps, but in case they fail, you can always resort to this method. We'll start with insertion and load the membrane into the tip, then inject it with short, quick bursts, being sure to keep an instrument in the side port to avoid the torpedo effect. Now you can see why it's called a Dead Sea Scroll method. We'll use short, quick bursts of fluid to position the membrane. And when we're sure exactly that it's the, in the correct orientation with the endothelial side down, we'll unwrap it with a small bubble of air. We need two syringes, one air syringe of 1cc and a BSS 3cc syringe. And the initial bubble size should be no larger than 0.02 cc's. While the BSS is placed with short, quick pulses, the air is placed in a slow, controlled delivery. We now tap dance the donor in position using what I might call a golf swing. And this basically creates tiny bursts of fluid that go and travel in the interface bringing the membrane with it and moving the membrane to position. If the bubble gets too large, there's too much contact and it won't move. So you can see here we have some leakage uh, through the paracentesis and so the bubble gets larger, we reinflate to get the bubble small again. Once it's perfectly centered, we'll go ahead and inflate. And there you have it. A simple cornea transplant using simple materials, nothing expensive and readily available. Thank you.